to make this guide easier we have we'll use the ERC minting boilerplate provided by the Bones team in this GitHub repo. You're going to see the link on this de description below. So you too can clone this repo on your local directory. So let's do so quickly. I will copy this and head over to the terminal. So let me expand this. So CD, I would like to st clone this in the downloads folder, that downloads category here, and create a folder called Polygon Text. And so we'll change to Polygon Text. Oh, sorry. this quickly yes so git clone it take a while for this to shouldn't take too long yes it's done so let's make sure so let's make sure this has been done so yeah you can see our erc maintaining butter plates let's head over to to vs code and f open the folder We'll search for downloads, let's boilerplate tests, and we have this, we have React, and we open it up. Yes, I trust. The next step is for us to install our dependencies. If you open this and go to package.json, you're going to see packages that we need to install alongside the node models needed for our React application to run. So open the terminal, new terminal and we run npm install it will take a while so let's be patient so it is done it has installed successfully but we need to run npm audit to fix any issues that may have occurred why the insert oh sorry not fox <laughs> npm fix so that would take very a very short while Yes, it's done. So let's clear this up to have space. Okay, so the next step for us to do is to copy our DAB ID and API key. So if you observed, and let's remind ourselves back over at where we deployed our Polygon ERC20 token on the Polygon testnet and Polygon network, that we are assigned a DAB ID and API key. This is helpful for us right now as we are about to use it in our front end code. So we need to use the bond, the bonds SDK to interact with the bonds console. And that is where the SDK comes in. That is where these keys are so important for us to fix. So we need to log in. If you're not already logged in, log in to your bonds SDK, to your bonds console and dashboard rather, and connect to the metamax so i have to quickly log in oh sorry why did that happen yes so it's connected successfully so we need to copy this before that we need to create we need to return back to our our vs code to create dot emv file where our dab id and api key will live in so that has been done here so we we'll click over there and we need to put in those keys so it will be react app dab id equals and react app api key equals so let's copy that so let's head, head over to so we'll copy the id we'll copy 
the API key and we'll save that. This is very helpful. If you observe, if you go to the app.gx gsx file, you'll see where the API key and the dub API key and the dub ID are called. So it's helpful for us to put that because it's called here, which allows the bonds SDK to be initialized and then every other thing follows. So let's run. Let's now try and see how this front end looks like. And we can begin to interact with it. NPM run starts. So it will take a while. Yes. So we need to connect our Metamax wallet to this. Next, connect. It's connected. Fantastic. So you can mint your ERC20 if you're the owner. If you if you look back, let us check on the polygon. If you are the owner. So let's head back to um, the dashboard and use the polygon Mumbai scan token scanner. The link is in the description below for you to access this polygon scan. So this is the token we launched. The name is Web3 Lady Symbol WPL Zero Supply. So there's not been any transfer of token uh, initial supply. Nothing has been done here. And you can search for your own token. If you click on the token, token ERC20 token by market cap, and then you filter, click here, then you paste. So you copy the, the token's address, smart contract address for the token, copy it, and you paste it here. And then it gets to show you details of your, of your deployed token. So this is zero. So let's fix that. And that is why we want to mint Nisha supply for our ARC20 token. So let's head over to just go back to our deployed or the, the our app that is currently running. So we can choose to deploy or choose to mint any amount of token. Let's try one and see what happens here. One and see what happens. So click on the mint button. We want to sign the transaction. So this is the gas fee 0, 0.00 matic, of course, because we are on the polygon network and 0 0.005. So let's click on that. Confirm. Transaction was sent in SASA, which means we have minted our token successfully. Let's confirm that. Let's head back to this can and let's refresh the page. It is still zero. Let's search generally and see if transaction is actually done. And we see here that no transaction was confirmed. Let me try that again. Just was confirmed. All right, so let's head back here and try it one more time to see if truly this confirm is connected. Yes, it's connected. Let's try one zero 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 zero. zero. That's around hundred thousand. Let's mint again. Confirm. Transaction was in success. Okay, let's try again and see if something was done here. Okay, I think we have, may have done something wrong. Let's head back to. Let's confirm if our DAB ID actually is what is is being used here. So this is nine twenty. Yes. Let's confirm that again. Nine K. Okay. Let's confirm. Yeah, that's actually correct. So let's see if we can rerun this again and probably let's cancel and run again. All right, so let's try again. Ten. Let's try hundred. Confirm transaction. Yes, confirm. 
in Sussex. So let's copy this. Let's copy the address and try again. Oh, sorry. Let's try again. Okay, still eight days ago. Let's let's refresh. Let's refresh. Okay, fantastic. So you see that yeah, so the meta was mint. We minted this and it's for three seconds ago, which I think it just showed them down here and let's try this hold on what three leaders transfer one one address and zero wpl total let's try market cap all right let's find it hundred fantastic so the the hundred we just minted earlier on has been displayed as total supply and then we find the contracts transfer token for this and other things can can follow suit so this is uh, a very simple explanation and guide of how you can mint your tokens using the bonds sdk with javascript and this is going to be helpful for those already familiar with the Web2 space who do not want to go the, you know, the route of going to LensoDT to begin to mint and build dApps. You can use a use case, increase the use case. You have access to the client SDK. You have access to the API key and dApp ID, of course, access to the boilerplate on GitHub. And once you have access to it, you can begin to manipulate the React or JavaScript or React code as you seem fit to improve the the use case that we have here. Simple just allows you to mint your token on the Polygon network with the Bonds SDK using JavaScript. If you have any questions while trying this out, you can use the comment section below and ask your questions. You can also connect on Discord community where other developers are trying to build dApps or building dApps with the Bonds SDK as well. Thank you very much for making it this far and continue building dApps with bonds.